Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first Sit Down Sunday since I want to say November of last year. Heesh. Before we get any further into this video, I need to start off with the biggest, most heartfelt, most warming, most loving, most every single loving adjective you can think of, of thank you to you guys. Last week we hit 300 subscribers, we're on a good pace already, we're already close to 400, we're on a good up track, we're a third of the way there. Please take with all I can give, thank you guys so much, without you I would not have been keep doing this up. I hit a pretty big slump last year. I rode the wave back up and we haven't stopped since. Thank you guys so damn much. This hurts because I have a sunburn, but it's worth it. Please, if you haven't done so, you've been here long enough. Please share me with friends you think enjoy my content. They know what we have. With that being said, down on the timeline below me, you will see timestamps of where to go. Just in case you want to skip forward, because I have many a subject to cover in this vi video. Starting off with Fender Rock Gaming. Why did I bring this channel back? Why didn't I just stick to what I had before? For those who are here before, I actually had Fenrock Gaming once. That changed into FEC Gaming because it was a failed experiment. This time, I'm riding through with it. I started the new channel. It's actually already <laughs> higher than it was less than a whole 11 subscribers. So if you like my gaming content or just like you like me in general, please head over to Fenrock Gaming and subscribe there. What I'm gonna have one of there is, but like I had before, two Souls games a week. Probably Monday through Friday, that's how it was before. Monday, one episode, Friday was the second one. The Rise of Fenrir. Right now it's Demon Souls. I'm getting back into that. I had to do some other priority things before I get back into that. But starting next week, I should have those videos back up. So Monday and Friday is the Rise of Fenrir. Now where that leaves is my two other series I have going on right now. The Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke Platinum version. That will most likely be on Wednesdays. So that should be starting back up soon. I'm having more fun with that one than my original failed Nuzlocke attempt. The Nuzlocke didn't fail. My love for it failed. I got bored. I got so bored. So that should be returning this Wednesday. And then Sundays will be the Minecraft Hardcore series. For no matter how many times I do fail that one, I'm going to keep playing Minecraft Hardcore until I beat Minecraft Hardcore. I should be able to beat Minecraft Hardcore. The deaths I've had so far in there were kind of BS. One I will take full responsibility for. One was super BS. On the topic of gaming, FVC. For those who've gone to that channel, thank you guys for you know keeping that channel going good too. It's on a great pace. It's slowed down a little bit, but we're still going steady. Last videos have done better. If you guys like myself and my friend the curator, once go please subscribe to the curator. That dude puts so much damn work into his videos. I help him out. I wrote his theme song. I have my love. My name is on that channel as well. Please go and support the curator. Support both of our channel together, the FEC Gaming channel. Support both of us. These channels are always linked in my description or on my main channel. Please go show us love. He has his full gameplays going. He still has his reviews. He puts so much work into these. We all do. People who don't know the behind the scenes of YouTube and editing stuff, people who do edit videos and actually put time into them, not just, you know, film themselves start finish don't do any cuts whatsoever it's kind of up with the dude they don't really know <laughs> but if you actually put time and effort and love into your videos you know how much work these things take and we have so much fun doing them I mean like for those who also know we don't make money yet you can't make money until you have consistent viewership and have at least reached 1,000 subscribers I want to reach that goal before the end of this year but even with that being said, we're not doing any money, not making any profit, we're putting our own money in this, our own time, blood, sweat, and tears, being all, I have no free time, but I love every single second I put into this channel, and FEC Gaming, and Fenderock Gaming, and helping out the curator on his channel too. It's a joy, it's a passion, I love it so damn much. Just please help support us, support other small creators, help us get higher up in the system help us out if you like our content please always remember to share us around and subscribe just thank you guys for the support over there as well again but keep, let's keep this train going together we cannot do it without your help we'll keep grinding we'll keep grinding that stone until it's become beautiful freaking daggers of truth now back to here on the main channel i want to touch the subject of reactions when I first started this channel, I did not want to become a reaction channel. For the simple sake of I said, I felt reactions were lazy, which is extremely stupid on my part. 
for the most part. Some reaction channels are legit lazy because this is their whole thing. That was a cool video. That's not what I want to be. Um, I started doing the reactions for the exact reason why I watched reactions. Yes, I know hypocritical. I'm saying I don't want to become a reaction channel, but I, use, I do watch pretty much all the main reaction channels. It's because the reason why, when you're by yourself and you're, you, you know, unfortunately you are lonely, you watch the reaction channels to feel like you're watching with a friend. You want to be with someone watching it. It's fun seeing somebody react to something with you. It just, it's a thing you can't fully explain, but it's fun. It's undeniably fun. And I enjoy doing it. And I've started doing them myself for the exact reason. I wanted to feel like I'm with somebody. I've always been, I've always talked to myself. I'm no shame in admitting it. I've also always been really comfortable talking to a camera because back in high school, I did take a videology class and, you know, basic, you know, filming. So that's so why I had a knowledge coming in. I had to relearn a lot because high school ended a long time ago. <laughs> But it's a true passion I have, and the feeling, I, I do feel you, I, and pe people say this all the time on YouTube, but something I, if you don't believe them, that's fine, I don't blame you for not believing, it does sound silly, but I do truly feel like you're in that little logic camera staring at me right now, I feel like you're there, I can make the connection through it, and I know it sounds crazy, but it's, it's hard to explain, I can feel it, I know you're there, I know you're in there thank you for being there again thank you guys so much but uh, reaction channels i have gotten tons of requests to do more of them for the i have the try not to tuesdays which by the way i'm gonna have try not to tuesdays on the federal gaming channel as well because i'm gonna do it too so whatever you'll see if you subscribe you'll see but i have the try not to tuesdays and every other week it's the smosh videos and every single one of those i've done i always leave a comment please do more smosh and your wish is my command on this one. I did the puberty musical. That was a blast. Those aren't trying to last too. It's just me enjoying the video and enjoying the video and feeling like you're there made it much more fun. More fun than I thought it did. I originally commented saying I want to take it as my own time to sit back and just enjoy a video by myself. And I realized watching it feeling like you're there with me made it that much more enjoyable. I get it. I now get the satisfaction of what the real reaction channels do. There are, there's no sugarcoating. There are plenty of fake reaction channels out there. But the ones who get it, they know who they are. Like Tyrone Magnus, he's gotten a little wavery late, lately, I feel. But when he's in the prime and when he's on good go, when he, you tell when he's truly enjoying a video, it's so damn fun. Tyrone, Alex Hefner, even though I'm getting kind of weary on him, something's feeling off with him lately. I've also been seeing things, but I'm not getting into that. That's a whole different story. My favorite reaction channel is still Lost in Vegas, bar none. Those dudes feel like the realest dudes. They do not BS you whatsoever. I love those dudes. But I, it's something you can't really explain. So I am going to have at least two reactions a week. It's not always just going to be smoshed. Like, we have epic rap battles of history coming out in, like, I think a week or a week and a half. We're reacting to that. I'm a huge ERB head. Trust me. <laughs> I've been with them since the start. Season one, I didn't, well, no, not the first video. It wasn't there because that was kind of hard to be with them right from the start. But I want to say halfway through season one, I was with them from then. I've been a huge fan ever since. I've seen every video. I haven't loved them all. There's been some duds. <laughs> so that's going to be coming out soon. I'm going to have at least two reactions a week. One's going to be the Try Not To series. I have a fun one coming up soon kind of looking forward to it and the other one's just gonna be a straight reaction have fun smosh usually releases you know at least three videos a week on the main end of smosh pit smosh gaming not really reactable um that's just them watching play games we'll see maybe they have something pop up i can do it but yes two reactions a week most likely gonna be smosh stuff make something here and there if i see it worthy like whenever the damn spider-man trailer drops copyright's gonna be a bitch with that but i'll figure something out i'll censor it you guys will understand copyright's no fun especially when you're a small channel copyright can be the death of you screw you wb next up i just concluded in fact yesterday i dropped the final video for the ranking every megadeth album series or ranking every megadeth song ending in the albums that concluded yesterday with the announcement of the next addition to that series, ranking every Judas Priest song from worst to best. It's a bigger project than the Megadeth one. They've released a lot more music, but I'm bringing on the challenge to myself to push myself forward into further. I'm going to make some adjustments. I know something's going to tweak. I'm not going to spend as much time on the lower rank songs. I'm probably actually going to do just one long video of a, I don't know how many. I have to see how many exact songs there are. But I'm going to knock them out in a huge chunks, keep them short, simple, probably one sentence reviews, get to the top 100, and then give that the full-blown every attention it deserves. Not no 20 chunks, 
you'll see when it comes out. It's going to take a lot of work. There's a lot of songs. And getting your hands on the Ripper Owens music is not the easiest thing. I know it's on YouTube. I want the quality. I want to hear the Christmas and the stuff. There is quality in those albums. I was originally going to do Sticks next, but the thing that happened was right when I announced I'm doing Sticks next, they went and announced themselves they're dropping a new album right before my 30th birthday. Birthday present to me from them. They're my, you know, tied for my favorite band of all time. I want to let that album marinate. Um, the last one they did, I let it marinate too. It actually got worse with time, which makes me a little nervous. Uh, their last album was okay, but it's also kind of, eh, I don't know. It just it, it didn't feel very sticksy to me, and that thing that's the problem. Hopefully, this new song I heard the new title track. It sounds very sticksy, very old school sticks. I'm talking pre Tommy Shaw, so I'm excited for that. I'm also coming very soon, probably actually around the time of my birthday gonna have a new series uh i don't know how it's going to do it's something very different something way out of my comfort zone please stay tuned for that uh i'm gonna this is actually gonna be something i'm gonna need your guys support on um i'll give you a hint it involves this that was my stomach it's out of frame <laughs> but yeah uh i'll give you a hint if you're watching this video deep enough i'm gonna have a kind of fitness vlog thing going on um, there's no secret. I'm a fat ass. I need to get back into shape. I used to be in shape. I used to play sports all the time. I'm not gonna make excuses, but these are, you know, factors. They led to other things and then myself got in the way of this, but I used to play sports all the time. I still do play sports, but not anywhere near as active as I do when I play them. I feel like I want to die. I used to play football, basketball, just baseball, everything active. I'm still in a bowling league. I'm having tons of fun with that. For people who don't think bowling is a sport, Go actually try throwing a 16 pound ball three games straight under pressure in the heat and you're actually you know playing the game it gets tiring and it is a workout trust me i'm getting into golf uh that could be part of it i might include some videos from that but it's going to be kind of a fitness style vlog it's gonna be a weekly series film myself through the week um epic hero fitness you know new rock stars they had their avengers challenge that was fun as hell and that's what inspired me to get back i do have a gym membership i'm still kind of weary with everything going on right now plus shady business people but that's beside the point i need to get back into shape i weigh way too damn much i'm like 70 pounds over where i want to be and i feel disgusting um i don't show as much on camera but i do feel disgusting in my own skin half the time and I, I gotta do something about that. I'm gonna need your guys' support, really. Uh, <laughs> getting a little real here at the end. Um, I need to get back into shape before things get bad. I mean, I'm all, I'm getting ready to turn 30. I've already lost my hair. My hair's, I mean, my hair's doomed. That's why I always wear hats. I've shown you guys. Um, I've taken steps to try to fix that, but not everything's worked. Uh, my knees hurt. My back hurts. I feel like an old ass man. And it's my own damn fault. Probably, I mean, look at my posture. I'm true. I'm leaning down the chair, but I'm chilling out with you guys. We're kind of just chilling together with this one. I'm gonna need you guys' support. Is I need to transform myself. I need to get back into shape and actually take care of my damn self. Eat better. Eat right. Eat too much shit. That's why I'm so glad Dr. Pepper dropped the zero sugar because I have a sugar addiction. I have that's obvious. Sugar and caffeine addiction. Caffeine's neither because you know I wake up at five o'clock in the morning every damn day and I'm insomniac. Insomniac as hell. I'm lucky to fall asleep by midnight half the time. And that's no sleep whatsoever. I can function off a little bit of sleep, so it's not such a big deal for me. But still, it's not healthy. I need to get my health in order, and I want to take you guys with me. Um, I feel like you guys are here to support me. I feel like you guys you'll get me. I love you guys. I truly mean that. It's not just saying. Oh, I love you guys. Click subscribe, ring the bell. I actually do. I actually feel it. Especially the ones who've been here the, the long haul. The ones who comment regularly are my, I feel like your friends. That sounds so crazy. I always make fun of YouTubers for saying it, but here I am saying it. And I get it. I really get it. This YouTube thing, I want to work out. And I can't do it without you guys. And I want you to be here with me on it. Oh, crap. Uh... With that being said... <laughs> Um, what do you guys like? What content do you guys want to see coming from? Oh, crap. Um, what content do you want to see? Which one's your favorite? I, I have people saying my music stuff is their favorite. I have people saying it's Smosh. It's actually kind of split 50-50. Uh, the Smosh videos do better, obviously, because it's, you know, wider range. Smosh reactions, those get clicks. But I feel like I have fun with them enough to make myself feel individualized. And plus, if Smosh ever sees my videos, I will cream. Maybe on camera. Don't film that. Sometimes the music videos do do good. Um, the Mega Series has done relatively well. The last few videos have actually done really well, especially the top 10. That's actually done better. 
you know, people say 50 views it's like yeah for big youtubers it's nothing for someone like me that's a lot and it means a lot it means you guys do want to watch it hopefully it catches fire like the mega the guitarist ranking that did crappy when i first dropped it but a year later it's my second most successful video i think it's at 3,000 views now I'm gonna keep it grinding. Sometimes one of these videos hits, uh, sometimes Grand Van Fleet happens, and I realize how shit some of their fans are. Not all of them, trust me, I am a fan of the band. I, I made that pretty clear in the video, but people hear what they wanna hear. We're not getting into that. There's a reason why I turned the comments off. People say you can't take what you dish. No, I can take what I dish. Trust me, I can take what I dish. It's when you have ignorant people dumping in there making really stupid, uninformed comments that make no goddamn sense. That's when you just sounds people, that's just stupid. But yes, what videos do you guys like? Which ones do you want to see more of? I'll try to do with my best. I gotta keep true to myself. I gotta keep my music stuff going forward. I need to get that damn EP taken care of. I'm working on it. I got new equipment to help me out with that. I know I keep saying it's gonna come, but I don't want to rush it, and I don't want to make it sound stupid. And I know I'm not the best singer. Those who watch my December cover, I'm not the best singer. I do what I can do. I want to do it right, and I'm gonna. I'm working on. It. I might be dropping a song realizing it's not fitting well you'll be there when i drop it finally reaction ones let me know what kind of channels you want me to check out please always if you have suggestions comments down below let me know i know i'm looking like i have indigestion right now i ate not too long ago i'm kind of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you guys know what to do you guys have, if you guys are watching my videos you guys have been to youtube long enough to know how this works please always remember like my videos comment share them with your friends ring the bell be part of the notification squad i love you guys i truly truly do i think i love you guys more than i love myself i'm not saying that'd be sound funny i actually truly mean that sometimes i truly do hate myself hence the fitness series thank you guys so much for being here i hope you guys stay tuned new series coming soon thank you guys so damn much my name's david but you always call me Fenrock. Take care.